Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Rahbar Khan with the news. First, the UCB headlines. Khalid Azir's health checkup done in presence of her chosen physicians. Reports to be sent to jail authority tomorrow, says BSMMU director. Khalid Azir's treatment will be conducted as per jail code, says Ubadul Kader. gang realizes huge amount of money by supplying answers to the examinees from outside the centers using technology. Ten, including bank officials, arrested. And rate of interest on savings certificates is not being lowered, says NBR chairman. Now, on to the details. BNP chairperson Begum Khalid Azir has returned to jail after medical checkup at Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University Hospital. Earlier, Khalid Azir's medical checkup was conducted by a four member medical board. At this time, a number of tests, including blood and x ray, were done. Meanwhile, several BNP leaders and workers were detained by police while they were trying to stage demonstration outside the hospital. Meanwhile, Director of BSMMU, Brigadier General Abdullah Al Harun, has informed that Khalid Azir's various tests have been done in presence of her chosen physicians. He also said the reports will be sent to jail authority tomorrow. Awami League General Secretary and Bridges Minister Ubadul Kader has said. Khalid Azir's treatment will be conducted as per jail code. He stated this to newsmen at the jailam of his mother in Noakhali. The minister further said the government has nothing to do with the unconditional release of Khalid Azir as the matter is the jurisdiction of the court. He said it is BNP's democratic right to take part in next national election and whether they would take part in election or not is their decision. National Board of Revenue, NBR Chairman Musharraf Hussain Bhuiya has said the NBR would not reduce further the rate of interest of savings certificate. He said this at the inaugural ceremony of Savings Certificate Week. The NBR Chairman said that the decision was taken considering the two crore taka savings certificate holders and the common people interested in savings. The DB police have arrested 10 people, including three bank officials, on charge of being involved in solving questions through the use of technology from outside the examination centers. This ring has realized huge amount of money from the examinees. Detectives say the members of this gang have confessed to carrying on such illegal activities, realizing 30,000 to about 12 lakh taka from the examinees and the guardians. A debate competition for the blinds titled Onnu Drishtite Amar Prithibi would be inaugurated on the 21st of April at ATN Bangla FDC studio. The organizers at a press conference have urged the affluent people to come forward to patronize specialized programs for children. They opined that talent of these blind children would be flourished through such programs. Meanwhile, the competitors have already started training at different places including Dhaka and Chittagong. The organizers informed that rules and regulations of the debate competition have been handed over to the competitors through the Braille system. Now, news from abroad. After spending two nights in Jodhpur Central Jail, Salman Khan has been granted bail in a 1998 Blackburg poaching case. Today's judgment comes as relief for the actor who was sentenced to a five-year jail term on Thursday. District and Sessions Judge Ravindra Kumar Joshi allowed Khan's plea for bail and suspension of sentence so that he can file an appeal against his conviction and sentencing. The U.S. has imposed sanctions on seven Russian oligarchs and 17 senior government officials accusing them of malign activity around the globe. Twelve companies owned by the oligarchs, the state arms exporter, 
and a bank have also come under the sanction. Treasury Secretary Stephen Murchin said the penalties targeted those profiting from Russia's corrupt system. He said the move was a response to Russia's alleged meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The sanctions are also being imposed because of the actions taken by the Kremlin in Crimea, eastern Ukraine and Syria, Munchen said in a statement yesterday. Police in Canada have confirmed that 14 people were killed when a lorry and a bus carrying a junior ice hockey team collided yesterday evening. The Humboldt Broncos were travelling on Highway 35 kilometres north of Tisdale in the province of Saskatchewan. The Royal Canadian Mountain Police said 28 people were on the bus, 14 of whom were killed, including the driver. The other 14 aboard the bus have been taken to hospital. Three are in critical condition. Finally, cricket and Indian Premier League IPL begins this evening at Mumbai through a colourful inaugural programme. Chennai Super Kings will take on Mumbai Indians in the opening match at 8.30 p.m. That's all from my newsroom for the moment. Allah Hafiz.